The two of them had just come up from the pool to take a shower. The elder sister noticed that the engagement ring was missing. Suddenly the younger sister pointed her finger into the water. It turned out that the ring was stuck in the cover of the water outlet. When she saw it, she didn't even think about it. She jumped in straight away. But after waiting for a long time, she couldn't see her sister so she thought she would go and have a look. Only when she got here did she realize that the ring was stuck too tightly. It was impossible to get it out. Meanwhile the caretaker took a look. There was no one else in there. Then the caretaker pressed the switch on the pool cover. He had to go back and have hot pot with his wife. He didn't even know there were two other people in the pool. At that very moment, the elder sister's hair was sucked into the drainage pipe. When he saw it, his younger sister immediately pulled it out with her hands. During the struggle, they didn't notice. The pool cover had already been closed. By the time the two sisters emerged from the water, the caretaker had already left. Despite all their shouting and flapping, no one responded. It was obvious that they were trapped. No one knew when they would be able to get out. Because the caretaker had already posted a holiday notice, it would not be open again until the following Monday. The two sisters were frantic at the thought, but that wasn't the answer. Once they had calmed down, the two started to split up and look for an exit. They wanted to see if there was another way out. But with a sealed lid like this, it would be difficult for them to get out. After searching for a while, little sister only found an old swimming costume, and the elder sister only found a plastic sheet. So they checked along the roof cover piece by piece. They only found one small hole, so they set their sights on this spot. But they've tried their hardest. But nothing happens. That idea didn't work either. Maybe it was just a vent. Then my sister tried to get rid of a steel bar, but she didn't even think about it. But at that very moment, the elder sister also had a daring idea. She wanted to use the plastic sheet she had just cut to open the roof overhead. It was really a whimsical idea. In the struggle, the two sisters even got into a fight. They started complaining to each other. If it wasn't for that stupid ring, maybe we wouldn't be stuck here. But for the eldest sister, it wasn't like that. Because the ring was very important to her. After all, it was from her boyfriend. And with that, she swam into deeper water once more. She still wanted to take the ring away. This time it wasn't the same as before. She got it out with ease. It seemed that the gods had not been kind to them after all. When her elder sister returned, she told her little sister about the ring. Next, all they had to do was figure out how to get out. But at that moment, the phone in her bag rang. It turned out to be a call from her boyfriend. There was no answer. So he left a voice message. As soon as the call from the other side hung up, the elder sister looked a bit anxious. Suddenly she was back in the water again because she wanted to remove a piece of the fence. If she could do that, then it wouldn't be a problem to get out of here. But after a few attempts, it wouldn't even budge. She had to exert all her strength while holding her breath. It was difficult. She had no choice but to float up again. Time passed quickly. It was already dark. A strange thing happened in the swimming pool at that moment. All of a sudden the lights went out. The two of them had been trapped in the pool for hours. They tried all sorts of things but couldn't get out. But at that very moment, a cleaning lady came in with a cart. She took a torch and found two backpacks. She thought, this is a fortune. <laughs> Sudden shouting startled the cleaner. When she looked closely, she realized it turned out that two people were trapped. But the woman didn't try to save them first. Instead. She opened the wallet she had just found. All she could find was a single note. The woman seemed a little dissatisfied, but she stuffed it into her own pocket. Despite the sister's loud cries for help, the cleaning lady didn't hear them. She did what she had to do. When she looked up she saw the security camera above her again. So she went to the surveillance room and turned off all the switches. So it was clear. The cleaning lady wasn't going to do anything good next. She comes up and asks the sisters why they're trapped and she asked them for their phone passwords. Both sisters were still a bit confused when they heard this, but after a few moments of reflection, they thought the woman was trying to call the police. They gave the cleaner the password straight away, but it wasn't what they thought. Not only did the woman not call the police, she also checked the elder sister's phone for information and privacy. She did everything for one reason only, and that was to get the money. It didn't matter if she didn't have any cash. Just give us the PIN number of your bank card. Otherwise, you won't be able to get out again. The two sisters, who had been fooled once before, would not agree to this. But the cleaning lady was tough enough. She switched off the heater. Instantly the water in the pool became a little colder. She was going to freeze the sisters to death. This is really poisonous. The elder sister had no choice but to reveal her bank card pin. The cleaner's face smiled happily when she heard this. But she couldn't let them out yet. She had to get the money. A few more hours passed. 
By now the two men were freezing to death. The elder sister in particular looked in a very bad state because she had low blood sugar. She would faint from time to time. If she doesn't get her medication in time, I'm afraid she won't last much longer. I don't know when the cleaning lady came back. She also told the two sisters there was only $80 on her bank card. It was so disappointing to him. They didn't deserve to be saved. They might as well have been left to die. This brought a look of anger to the little sister's eyes when she heard this. She took the piece of plastic and ground a hard edge into the wall. Then she lured the cleaner over again. She said she had something to tell the cleaner. She deliberately pretended that her voice was getting quieter and quieter. But she wanted the woman to come closer. Because she wanted to get rid of the wretched caretaker. Since there was no way out. It was time for a fish out of water. The painful cleaner found a mirror and looked. Her ear was bleeding profusely. She was still furious. She simply treated the wound. Immediately, the woman began her revenge plan. The woman came out and pressed a code. The pool was instantly lit up. The two sisters who saw it, neither of them knew what was going on. But the next moment, there was a lot of gas coming out of the orifice. This is the usual cleaning system in swimming pools. When the two sisters reacted, they tried to plug the hole. But how could they do that? Without any tools. They were soon overwhelmed by the pungent stuff. So they had to ask the cleaner for help again and admit their mistake. The woman who heard this didn't torture them any further. She simply turned off the horrible machine. She turned around and threatened the two men once more. She also forced them to give up the diamond ring they had. After what had just happened, the elder sister did not hesitate to take out the ring. The most important thing at this time was to survive. After getting the ring, the cleaner hesitated for a long time. She didn't know what to do. Just when she was unsure, her phone rang again. She turned it on and heard a message. It turned out to be her boyfriend's plan to call the police. The cleaner seemed a bit scared. So she approached the two sisters. She wanted to give them a deal. The condition was that they would not call the police after they were rescued. Otherwise, no deal. The two sisters agreed to this. Because it's better to be alive than dead. Right? After the agreement was made, the cleaning lady was relieved. She started to enter the code to let them out. But she tried several times, but the code was wrong. When she came out, the cleaner told the sisters. The password she knew was a few months old. She didn't know when the manager had changed it. I thought the cleaner would have thought of something else. But she didn't do that. She chose to leave alone. I don't know why she was so cruel. A few more hours passed like that. The elder sister's condition became worse and worse. When my little sister saw this, she couldn't bear the thought of her sister dying in front of her. So she went once again to look for hope. When she came to the deep water, she still wanted to remove a piece of the grate because she had to have something hard to break the roof. Breathing hard, she shakes it back and forth, but it didn't work very well. And each dive is limited in time. She had to shake it a few times and then come back up for a breath. So she went back and forth many times. Finally, she thought of the swimming costume she had found earlier, and she swam back again. She twisted the swimming costume tightly together. Then she went through the gap in the fence. She pulls it upwards with all her strength. Happily, this time she succeeds. But by the time she swam back again, she was already sinking in the water. Perhaps her body was too weak and she passed out. When she saw this, she was very anxious. She also gave her sister artificial respiration, but it didn't seem to work. Just when she was about to give up, sister suddenly woke up. That was great. It seemed that the gods had been kind to them. After she helped her sister to the side, she started to smash the roof with the iron grill in her hand. In no time at all, the roof was already open. A smile appeared on her face as she saw it. By the time she had rescued her elder sister, she was once again in a coma. At that moment, she looked very nervous. She called out her sister's name. She went to her bag to look for her medicine. When she found it, she gave her a shot. She hoped that she would wake up. But just then the cleaner appeared again. When she saw her, she begged her not to hurt her sister. Since the cleaner had returned, she had a fear in her heart. She was afraid that the two sisters would not die. Then they would go to the police, and she would be in trouble. So she came back with the intention of killing them both. But just as she was about to shoot, she stopped. Maybe she had a conscience. Maybe she realized her mistake. In the end she gave them back the diamond ring. I could tell that the cleaner probably had something to say. She then called the police and gave them her address. After the call, she told the cleaner to leave. It was as if they had never met before. And she would not tell the police what had happened. And that's where the story comes to an end. By the time help arrived, 
the elder sister had already woken up. The whole story is set in a swimming pool, but you can see the fear that people feel when facing death and those who sell their morals for money. In fact, when you think about it, it's not easy for everyone. It's just that they stand from a different perspective.